Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our techless playthrough here in Total Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Big thank you to CA for the early access, by the way. Uh, where, well, things are going well. They're going. We've, we've just fallen back because we had a big fight at sea and lost a few units. So we're rebuilding slightly. And we are building up to be able to get some really decent units. Well, some top tier units soon, he says. We're getting, getting to the point where we're going to be able to start rolling in better units. That's that. That's the point of what I'm saying. So, yeah. Slowly getting ourselves there. Uh, there now. And it's going to help a lot, actually. Rather than just a line of spears with archers. Which is a good tactic. It does work quite well. The issue with the last battle was simply the fact that Rakaf is the god of doomstacks. I mean, literally. Oh, you. Excellent. What? I mean, no. I don't want anything to do with Durfu, and Durfu would not want anything to do with an elf. Not Durfu, Dryker. My infinite knowledge is yours. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Oh yeah, that's the other thing to remember I can get. Ooh, ooh yes! Ooh yes! Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry. It has to be done. There I want no dinosaurs. I swear I'm not going to be able to afford dinosaurs, isn't it? There are only ten? <laughs> two can play at Doomstacks! Oh, cold one riders aren't bad. But stegodons are just awesome. Yep, stegodons. I serve the king. Elves Loyal with dinosaurs. Prince. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What can I get off camera? Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I think I found a bug! I can't get their units because of the unit capacities. Um, the mechanic they have. Okay, that will get fed back to CA by the way, so don't, don't worry about that. I will be making sure I feed that back to them because that is an interesting one. I imagine they already know to be fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting rid of them because actually these guys are better. There we go. My income is going the right way. We're getting another army. I'm a little concerned by corn. I may need to send some support. Um. I don't want Kemri to fall. But as I can't get anything off Kemri, that's really annoying. I wanted some more kitties. But the fact I'm getting dinosaurs in my armies is quite cool. Ready to serve. Hmm. You called? Ooh. Actually, they can get some nice units already, so it's not necessarily a bad thing to do. Um, let's look what I can do diplomacy-wise. One day I'll get to confederate them. Protector of Alpha. Every armor. Do you? There we go. No, the exiles of Corda are worrying me a bit there. Um, I, I 
hope Setra goes and kicks their butt because... Where the crap did you come from? Was I on double time without even realising? I must have been on double time. No, I wasn't. It was moving around. What? Uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I don't think I'm going to win this. While it said Valiant Defeat, I don't see how I can win this easily. It's a nice settlement to defend, but at the same time, it's going to be a pain, especially as they split into multiple forces. Hopefully they won't split too much. For duty. Right. Orders received. So yeah, this is where it's tricky. It's the working out where's best to defend. Spearman. Acknowledged. Loven Seaguard. Orders received. Basically, my plan is to try and wipe this force out as pos as fast as possible arranged. Orders received. These guys are just going to try and pin them in place for a while, and then we'll fall back, uh, and while well, these guys fall back and try and deal with it. Northern Seaguard! Onward! It will be done. She dies first, for obvious reasons. As you say. Can I be praised? Ooh, I think I just moved into a worse position for taking that. Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. Kill her. God damn! That's fine, these guys can move forwards. Oh god, turn that off. Oh, you stupid thing! You guys fall back to the centre. You say. Steal. Kill her. I'm not winning this. I did. I did wonder how they were expecting me to win this. I don't see how she got there. Asso, withdraw. Archers. It shall be done. Fall back, we will get obey. out. We will obey. This is already over. Sorry guys. <laughs> no. Utterly failed. I it was their large units and their lord. That spell was nasty, but their large units just kicked up up. If I can help them off. This is why I really need to work on my defences, because shit like that, them getting around me. I mean, thankfully, I've got Teclas nearby, I believe, so I should be able to retake here easily enough, but that's a annoying blow, and I may, may end up chasing them around a bit, though where they are, they're probably trapped a little between two, two things, so... Oof. What's going on occasionally with my frame right here? I've lowered my graphic settings as well. I think it's just something's going on. Very well. Ma 
master of the White Tower. Norma Sail. Oh, it was where I don't really have. Mm -hmm. Bugger, 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 bugger. It's actually a really bad position for them to have hit me. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Well, I was saying I needed somebody. New. Dealer? Okay. Hi, Elvin Archmage. There we go. Burning head to start with, because I like burning things. I think I think I should save up to get some dragons, guys. I'm not building anything there just yet. I think I might remove some of my income buildings there just to get all the growth I can out, because growth is king for me just now. That's why I didn't see it, because I was on double time. I'm a noob. Thankfully, they're too busy hitting each other to bother me too much. I'm really intrigued as to why I can see that region up there, because I'm not allied with anybody. You're training with anybody at that position. Ah, oh, Setra is struggling. Corn is... Scarbrand is kicking ass up there. Hey! But at least um, Oxlotl's reclaimed his area there, so I'm going to hopefully be able to send the expedition across to uh, Lustria soon. The Grand Lustrian Expedition Mark II. We've added dinosaurs. We're taking them home. gonna survive. You can start charging they down to here. Hi, boy. There was me saying I want to save money and then not saving any money. I needed to throw that army together though, though simply to simply to hold the line. Oxlotl has such a weird starting position now. Because he basically has a... Well, I mean, he's designed to fight... Really? <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. I am going to fight it. I'm, I've saved. I may well load and just auto it. Because... It's because my unit's tired. That's why it's so bad. But... Uh, Doom stacks are a pain in the ass. In fact, I'll lose these guys, which is my worry. So I'm going to kind of try and keep them back a little bit. I mean, I'm going to fall back and use this. Chosen of Hoeth. It will be done. For duty, White Lions, we will obey. Agreed. So, nice mixed All line. Understood. 
If I must! Lore Master of Power! Right. We've added dinosaurs in the line. Trying to select the right things and it's not giving me what I'm selecting. Right, there we go. Move! Oh, and you what can go play. The only real danger here is how close I am to the back. Loyal. Do it. Asa, move. We will obey, as you say. Swiftly. Northern Seagar. Murder her. Come and help with these actually. Oof. Turn and get onto that manticore. Advance without fail. To the fray. Right, let's take out that war hydra next. Hold back. Boss man can push forwards. Throw a heal out over there. Oh yes. Give them to Kane. Enemy sorcery. Jeroy nice. That was a good hit. Loyal. Right, kill those harpies. Uh, finish off him. No, one of my Stegodons is running. My other Stegodon is fighting their large units. The fact I get four uses of this is quite useful, actually. For the greater good. Even if it stops me casting. Acknowledged. It shall be done. Love and see right, ranged. Get onto those goddamn Let feral go. bears. You guys can charge forwards into them. Oh no, the bears might hit my anti-large unit. Woo, you guys shouldn't be that far forwards. Victory is mine. Woo, that was a bit of a pain. Battles like that always are against Doomstacks because they just destroy whatever formation you deal with and you've got to deal with it. The thing which won, won it there was focus firing the large units down one at a time. I wasn't that worried about the Harpies. I knew they weren't going to survive because that's why we've got Loth and Seaguard in this because they are very good at holding against that sort of thing. Um, 
and we've got a fairly good anti-large setup, but the thing which we, it was the focus firing things down with my range, all these nasties, which really did the job. Shackle them. Doesn't look like they're getting it all their own way over there. Nope. Okay, that's right, Camry. Kick Scarbrand's butt. I was going to say, because I want a war kitty, but as we've discovered, I can't get a war kitty. It's not fair. I can't believe how effective the pirates are against the High Elves. High Elves just don't seem to do as well anymore. Terrorish, what a name, wow. Um, let me know guys, by the way, what you guys, because by the time you see this, you, you probably have got to play what you guys are thinking of High Elves now, down below in the comments. What do you think of them before? Um, but what are you thinking of them right now? Do you think they're still as as OP as they used to be? Or do you think they've been nerfed or down a bit? Which is probably a good thing. You are allowed to disagree with me. I hate fighting Rakaf. Uh, Doomstack forces are just a pain because of that. Because they are very difficult to deal with. Um, thankfully, they don't focus me. Because they focused me, you know, if they chucked all of that into the centre, they'd have probably ripped a unit apart in seconds. And then they could have just picked units off one after the other. Ripped through, got into my range, and picked them off one after the other. Master of the White Tower. My powers are yours. Goodbye. Battle calls me. Restrain the captives. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Master of the White Tower. High Elven Archmage. Trained by the White Tower. Alt One prevails. All I care about is a victory there. And let's make sure we start actually building my defenses up. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Hmm. Only vengeance shall make me happy. Is that what you offer? I am very tempted to push forwards and try and take here. I serve the king. Moving on. Technically trespassing. Technically. High Lawmaster of Hoeth. Uh, yeah, keeping pushing Master Strategist. You've got Earth Blood, which is the one I really wanted there, so we're just going to keep buffing your melee prowess. Oh, damn, I meant to save stuff for them. Never mind. Maybe I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep them back. I'm going to get some extra growth buildings in there just to just to help get that territory to max. Because that's what I really need. I need um, some places at max level so I can roll out a max tier army to do my offensive stuff. And have some lovely defensive, sort of mid-tier defensive armies who can sit in settlements and batter, batter away most things which come at them. 
Well, realistically, for this, I, I probably want at least three home armies as well as one offensive army if I'm going across the sea. Which is quite a lot, but... The home armies don't need to be as powerful. Especially as I'm relatively insulated. Surrounded by buffer states. I'm a little concerned over here. But I'm also a little concerned over here, so... Come on, Camry, kick butt. I shouldn't have joined the war against Thousand. No, I should have. I've got myself dinosaurs out of it. Though one of my dinosaurs did get its butt kicked there, but it was like fighting multiple other dinosaurs and hydras and stuff. So. They keep popping back up over there. It's not bad, actually. If you say so. How can I assist you? Right. Growth building, growth building. If I'm doing it, I really should do it with all of them. Though starting getting some of these going would be a good idea. Let's get some dragons into my armies. And then next we are... Ooh, which one do... Ooh, no, that's... I want this. I want the Sisters of Avalon. Got that built to a level somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, I can't level it up there yet, though. Avaloyal. That gets to Phoenix Guard, but that gets to... I want all of them, basically, long run. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, once you got Phoenix Guard, you just want Phoenix Guard, because they are awesome. Off I go. Let's double time down here. By the time we get there, we'll be set up again, and then we can look at crossing over again. Safari's servant. Student mm, of no, you can hold that. In fact, I'm tempted to just Master remove her army for now. No, I want her to keep her army because it's useful. You know, while it's not huge, she can help. She can be used to move around and buff, you know, buff up garrisons if needs be. Just to give my garrisons that little extra edge if they need it, which they probably will. At points anyway. So Kemri looks to be reasserting itself after the uh, Cornite onslaught, the Corny onslaught up there. So that's good. Even though I can't get stuff off Kemri. Okay, I need to be ready for them going towards me. So I know where I'm moving that other force. Um, they are probably going to go to war at some point soon, so I just need to be ready for that. Though I've got good forces around there, I just need to move uh, my little force up to the other side, and I need to make sure I'm building my garrisons. Though I think Iron Brow is already struggling, so... It's good. It's not good, but it's... Mm, it's good. The question is, who should me and Tom play in our multiplayer when I'm back, guys? Uh, 
I will take the angry gods for now. Lord of Ulfwan. I bring Azurian fire. I will study here. Consider it done. No, let's double time into settlement. Very well. I control this garrison. Your command. To be there, I've got to wait a few turns before I can attack there anyway, and I think Crocky's probably going to take it back before I can, because I hadn't even realised I had a non-aggression pack with them, which is a bit newbie of me, but you know. It is what it is. He's doing quite well. You know what, Camry? I honestly don't care what you're doing. Well, they're near me. I don't care what Camry's army is doing because they're my ally. Basically, I want to ignore that point. Um, I've, if, if I go to war with Kemri, I might change that. See, I'm more worried about them because I'm not actually allied with them. While I don't think they're going to go to war with me, I'm not allied with them. Same with these guys. I don't actually care what they're doing. For now. For now, I don't care what they're doing. I'll rephrase that. Again, I wish you could just kind of have a big radius drawn. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's an interesting one. Everqueen of up. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Anyway, guys, that is where we're going to end it for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Horn. Uh, you really do help make all this possible, guys. And as always, thank you very much to everyone for watching. Cheers, guys.